afternoon. Oh my gosh, look at my flyaway hair. I wanted to talk to you today, I'm Jane, about making sugar scrubs for fun gifts. Sugar scrubs make such fun gifts for people and people really, really like them. So I wanted to give you some tips. We just finished making some to sell at a bazaar, Betty Dietz and I, and so I, want, I learned some stuff I want to share with you. So really all it takes is a jar to put them in. We really like to use glass, don't we? So these you can find at Target and they're eight ounce wide mouth. They're, um, I call them mason jars. And you get four in a pack, it looks like this, four in a pack for $4.59. That's at Target. It's less expensive at Target than it is at Amazon. So you know. They come with lids like this, it's still the regular mason jar lids, but if you want to get fancier so that you can put really nice labels on them and stuff like this, you can buy these white plastic lids to go on them. Now the white plastic lids come, I bought these, it was 16 in a pack. You can buy fewer if you want, but I figure I'm going to use them. And it was $10.99 for 16 like this. These I got at Amazon. They did not have them at Target. They have in the past. They just at Amazon. They just don't happen to now. And the other thing you're going to need is just regular white sugar, plain white sugar. And you're going to want fractionated coconut oil. Now, we can use doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. If you do, though, I mean, it's barely, it's only 3.8 fluid ounces. And it's, um, what? did I put on here? Gosh, oh, it's so it's $1.90 per ounce when you buy doTERRA's, which is high quality good. And I would only use this in roller bottles when I'm making therapeutic roller bottles. But when I am making sugar scrubs, and I usually make several at a time, I'm going to use either this, which is 94 cents an ounce. It's Majestic Pure, also off Amazon. Or this is 68 cents an ounce and I buy it by the pint. So, uh, like I said, I make a lot of sugar scrubs. So the other thing you might want to do is you might want to put a little food coloring in it. So you want to get the organic food grade, the pure food-based coloring. And I want to show you one that, one that I did. And it's this nice purple color. You can make whatever color you want. You can make it lighter than this. You can make it darker than this, just depending on how much you put on there. If you want to make a really cool label like this, I'll tell you how I did that. This is the label. They're round labels. And these particular ones are Avery um, 22830. They are two and a half inch. You can buy, uh, bigger ones would be okay too. But I used Canva to create these labels. We had a wake up label, a cheer up label, a calm down label. And so you could do whatever you wanted. And so when you put, here's some tips. Just put the sugar in a bowl and then put the fractionated coconut oil in, mix it all up about the consistency of sand. Don't be too tempted. Don't be tempted to put too much fractionated coconut oil in there because the oil is going to kind of melt the sugar a little bit and you're going to end up with more oily based anyway. So I like to make it like wet sand. There's going to be plenty of oil in there, but you need a little bit. You don't want to make it too dry either. So you just keep experimenting till you get the consistency that you want. And then um, do that, mix the color, then put your essential oil in. Also, you don't want to be too stingy on the essential oils. I would say that for one jar, you should have at least 20 drops of essential oil in there. I just kind of base it on how it smells. So when you use peppermint, which is one of my favorite ones because peppermint has a strong smell, you don't need as many drops. Spearmint also, maybe a few more drops of spearmint, it's not quite as strong, but if you use lavender, the smell isn't going to show up as much, so you really need to put more lavender in there until you can really smell the aroma. Then seal it up really good. I actually, just to seal it when I'm giving to gifts to people, I still leave this on, and I, not this part, the circle part I take off, but I leave the seal on and then put the plastic lid over it. You don't have to do the plastic lids. We were just, when we were selling them, we wanted them to look really pretty. So, um, 
You'll want to get the squatty jars too. That's another tip. You don't want to get deep jars because then reaching in and getting the sugar out is a little harder. So you want to get kind of like squatty type jars, not, not too deep, right? So I hope that helps you figure out how to make sugar scrubs. And you can go to the doTERRA blog and find all kinds of directions. I found uh, from the doTERRA blog it had me using way too much coconut oil. And so I kept adding more sugar and getting it to the consistency that I wanted. So just even, even using the doTERRA blog for sugar scrubs, just kind of keep an eye out. Make one for yourself and then let it sit for a bit and see what happens. Have fun. People will really love them. I'll see you online. Bye.